Alrighty. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh out there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there. No, sir. What are they talking about? All right, let's talk. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies. No, that would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really <laughs> seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their <coughs> horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So how do I get out of there? Tell me about the embassy. So what happens at <coughs> these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offered tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh are handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Okay, so the Tanakh Marshals? You said something about Tanakh Marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paib over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Their outfits are dope. Okay, so where is Nazar? Where is this Commander Nazar then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. She really has a big head, doesn't she? This way. <laughs> a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Probably. I don't know if you guys can see this. It might just be my recording software, but it kind of feels laggy a little bit. I think it's just my recording software, though. Stand aside, soldier. <coughs> Sir. Excuse me, coming through. Thank you, gentlemen. You, Commander. I don't see him. Yourself. And good luck. Thank you, thank you. All right. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. Swadis. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be kept. Shut up. <laughs> the Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, 
This isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dwan. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh's horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. She has to follow rules too. I get what, that she's on a very important mission, but I I do strongly feel like she needs to make friends. Everybody does. It's a part of humanity, right? Granted, she's essentially a clone, but still, regardless, at her core, she's still human. Uh, yeah, I'll wait. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. It's not gonna let me, is it? Before the embassy, and Thurlis mentioned there's a hunting grounds near here to train up. It's gonna force me. I don't like that. Kind of kills my role playing. Nora, only our annoyance. Okay, I'm going. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to. You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Hey! Speaking of friends. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. She needs to learn some pretty some pretty important character traits. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh what's happening? I know the usual Aloy wants something, people try to stand in a way. It's not gonna work. Arrest her! I'd like to see you try! Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey! Nose off! You stupid bastard! <laughs> you think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Friends. A friend did that. Not Aloy's hard-headed, but... Back in she's not very likable in this game for some reason. Made it just in time. <clears throat> I'm glad Varl's coming. She needs a little bit of humanity in her. So this tribe that Murat told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh well. Now at least you have some backup. It's I true. Do. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. I, I, yeah. I... So I'm willing to bet that her unlikefulness is a part of her character development in this game. So I'm sure she's gonna turn around at the end. But we'll see. So far, she's not very likable. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold. These guys are kind of scary. 
She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if Good she observation. To save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. What does that mean? <clears throat> a fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Maybe. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the army of the setting sun. You're Fashav. The Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Okay. <sighs> Tell me about your tattoos. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks okay. Like you vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. Oh, that... I like this guy. He's learned a lot in his life, clearly. Uh, so you and the Tan... Tan I can't say that. T Tanakh. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. <clears throat> Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sure. Tell me. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. Okay. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. Desperate measures? So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate. Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. The cool route? You said the cool route is a <coughs> trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it 
is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. The, uh... There's a lot of good and useful information that we're getting. Or not useful, but like... Good information in general that we're getting. Service to the chief? You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? The word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaru's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. Well, I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. And they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. <laughs> I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The I mean, I guess that makes sense. The cars you speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So, which tribe are you? So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. Chief Hikaru! The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I want to meet him. I hope you do speak to him. Me too. I'm sure you'd interest him. Why? So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The cards you need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot <clears throat> different than how they do. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's interesting for sure. So, going home. I'm not sure. I really hate this dialogue wheel. It, it kind of reminds me of, like, Fallout 4 in the sense that, like, it, it kind of gives you a false impression of what's going to be said, you know? It's like, you and the Tanakh, right? Clicking on that literally went on an entire dialogue spew, which, to to be fair, it was about him and the Tanakh, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't give you a sense of what you're about to learn, you know. Go, like going home, we're about to get a very big elaboration on this, and I don't know. I feel like we could have had a little bit more to read. It would have been better for role playing reasons, but I don't know. I guess I guess it works for this game. If I guess. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? <laughs> oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. That's fair. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. That would be good. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. Desperate times call for desperate measures, as they say. So, the rite of passage. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. She's so reluctant. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. 
calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Agreed! Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. I like this man. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! <gasps> the Sky Clan's banner. Hey. <clears throat> That's good, right? All three banners are up? Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakhs can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kharja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. I, I like him. And now it's more obvious than it was before that it's a character development for Aloy. Who knows, maybe I'm going to love her again. I, to be fair, I don't dislike her, but... She just seems very angry, but I get it. She's determined because she knows the importance of her mission, you know? So I understand, but she needs allies for something this big, you know? sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such- Uh. Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Oh, she controls the machines. Lancers, pull them up. Oh, no, we're going to battle. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Yeah, of course. Who else, right? Fashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up. So she started her own tribe. Get to cover! Oh my god, dude, this is bad. So much for peace talks. He might live. Archers, keep them back. Left flank to the Kaja. 
We're good. Oh my god, this is terrible. Especially Wadis. He's not even a fighter. He was kind of an ass, but he didn't deserve that. There you go, Commander. Ooh. We're falling like flies, dude. The Karja. Oh my god, no. This is horrible. Hey! Calm down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! This is horrible! Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Ah! Help me! I don't know what to do. Here they come! So, is this waves? This is not what I want. Oh my god, it doesn't help that my game is lagging. I'm pretty sure it's my recording software. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Come on, guys! You guys want some of it? Ooh, yes, they do. Uh, what do I want? This. I'm gonna die. Taking my shot. Give me heal. Maybe I did I just trigger it myself? Nice. Hey, come on, I got something for you, little stupid horse. Dude, I shoved it up his butt. That, that must have been very uncomfortable. Where'd he go? I didn't even see. Let's go, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. What happened? I guess I killed enough of them. Yikes, that hurts. Oh! Oh, he is strong. This is absolutely terrible. You and me now, We've survived worse. Have we though? Yeah. 
What's up, buddy? Wait, what happened? Come on, baby. Dude, they are kicking my ass. Oh! Get up, Aloy! Oh, God. Oh! Get out of the way! I'm stressing. <laughs> oh! I have to do this from a distance. I saw that coming, dude. It was it was super laggy. <sighs> okay, so this is gonna be hard. No, not really. I think it's gonna be easy, but if it wasn't that laggy, it would be a lot better. There you go, Barl. One at a time, baby. Screw you, bud. That's not what I wanted. Holy crap, he kicked my ass. I wanted this. Ah! Come on, baby, let's go. Of course we can. Oh, so he's dead, dead. Let's go. Woo. Much better. <clears throat> oh, it's just, it's just us and her now. Oh, that's not even her. Who's that? Boss fight? Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Boss fight. Yeah. No, that was cool. Oh, that's cool. Varl, you better get back up, homie. You're next, girl. I never see a shield like that. Better scan it. <laughs> Wait, how do I do this again? I always forget. So it's weak against poison. Gotta get through that shield. Last one. Come on, buddy. Oh, I how did I miss? How did I miss twice? Break his guard. Yeah, 
Come on, baby, let's go. Give it up. Dude, I'm kicking his ass. Can I just kick him off this? I get it. Oh no, I got no more. Oh! Did it not work? You're not stopping me. Oh! Where is he? Oh my god. At least I managed to heal in time. What's up, homie? Dude, he's he's I'm gonna have to do this one more time. There it goes. Oh god. Dunskies, bro. Grant you this honor, my ass. Ooh. Search Gruda. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that felt good. Look at that butt naked and everything. <laughs> no. Challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals. Slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on the Move out. Well, that was interesting. I can't believe most of our friends are, well, friends are dead. Get him to the camp, now. You all right, Varl? You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Of course she is. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. <laughs> For now. On. I'll take you back to the fort. That was terrible. There goes Aaron. I got you. See, friends. It's important. <clears throat> so much for that. It's salvage time, boys. <clears throat> Does that mean it's time for me to officially head west? Hey, we have the shield now. Glide, you say? Hey, look. <clears throat> We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. 
What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? It is, it is possible. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Apparently a lot there is. Tell me about the Regalia. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have Clearly. a camp nearby. <clears throat> Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. Fashaf. About Fashaf. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. Uh, Nozar and Wadis. It's too bad about Nozar and Wadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, <laughs> no one deserves to go out that way. You mean a coward? I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. Yeah. Nozar definitely went down like a champ, though. Uh, Karja's response. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. That's it? Okay, well, questions about the West. Uh, Tanakh lands. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the West. What can I expect to find between here and there? Nothing. Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then new Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Daunt. So, no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> so we need their help. Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. <clears throat> All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? Is that suggesting I go back? Uh, Plainsong and Utaru. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? 
That's right. Plain Song is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. Maybe they're just not they at have war. Their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but no. They just want to be left alone. Yeah, I wonder why. No man's land. This area is no man's land. <clears throat> that it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call no man's land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. That's interesting. Uh, are there others out west? You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osirum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osirum crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. Okay. Back. Uh, I guess it's time to go. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. Thank you. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. Are, are they friends, though? <laughs> Son, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. He gave us a lot of good information, man. It's in particularly, or particularly about uh, about the red raids. Uh, let me see if I can get some more stealth stuff. What does this uh, do? Carry more smoke bombs. I don't even have the ability for smoke bombs. Recover health when using silent strike. Maybe. What's this? Quiet spear. Melee attackers, uh, melee attacks are quieter, reducing the chance of being detected by nearby enemies. Deal more tear damage while in stealth, increasing the ability to remove an enemy's armor parts for ma uh, for machines. Deal more ranged impact damage while in stealth. It's 15 damage. Tear could be useful, but I do like the idea. Wait, what is this? Sharp shot bow? Oh, wow. Fire a powerful shot from a kneeling position that explodes on impact. That sounds cool. I think I want to deal more... Hmm. The thing is, okay, so impact damage would be better against humanoids or humans in general. And then this tear obviously is mainly good for machines and stuff. Although it would benefit, both would benefit against machines and humans. But I think one is more suitable for the... For humans and the other one's more suitable for machines too. At least that's my assumptions. I think I want to go with. Okay. So for now let's wait. Let's see what else we can get on Hunter. What is this? Uh, stamina regen. Recover weapon stamina faster. To use weapon technique. Aim L2. And fire with R1.
deep concentration. Heavy weapons could come in handy, though. And I could get this, too. Does that mean there's another one over here I could get? No, wait. Why can't I? So it's still locked. Okay. Mm. I think I want to get the stamina regen. Because that would definitely come in handy. Ranged master. So bolster your resolve and deal more damage with ranged weapons for a limited time. Yeah. Oh, it's locked because I still haven't gotten this one. Fire eight bolts of your currently selected type in a wide, short-ranged spread. Depletes medium amount of weapon stamina. L2 and R1. It's only two. I might as well, and it would unlock the entire next tier. <gasps> Ooh, this is completely done. So now I can move on to this, and then... Okay. So I got no more. So we're golden right there. I guess next we'll work on Infiltrator. Because the whole stealth side of things is pretty important. I gotta... I gotta gather as much as I can. Oh wait. Uh, Shield Wing is an energy-based glider. Repurposed from machine technology. Hold square while in air to deploy and glide. Tap circle to stop gliding. So okay. This is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe... The backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, recall as machine riders. Wait. I'll have to push through it Swipe all. up? Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Well, it wasn't really working for me. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? Regala had a lot of machines under her command. I gotta redo all of my stuff. That kind of knowledge. Silence. But what's his angle? Oh, I don't have enough. Why help to knock the rebels? Okay, we're golden there. What is it that I'm missing? I don't even know what I'm missing. Let me click that. I'm missing a bunch of supplies that are going to come in handy. So I'm full here. What I need is more of the medical supplies. Yeah, I see another one What? right over here. Wait, Sir Treble? Sure, why not? Got me some medical potions anyway, so... That's absolutely imperative. Can I search this guy? Yes, I can. Sucks for you, Mr. Bristleback. And Chargers. Which just so happens to me be my favorite NFL team. And the Rams, because I'm an LA sports fan, but the Chargers are my number one team. So much looting. The amount of looting you have to do just to be viable in combat, though, I'm going to be honest, is kind of, uh, it really slows down the game. This was a thing even back in the previous game. As much as I love these games, that's a, the, the amount of looting you have to do is kind of exhausting, you know? Okay. I'm going to assume we're done. So let me look at the map. Oh my god, dude. I gotta go far. Uh, Scuff scalvaged camp. Let's do that. Let me see the side quest really quick. I mean, I... Show on map. Okay. I honestly think I'm good.
Definitely need those metal shards. Hey! Let's go ahead and quick save while we have an opportunity. Good spot to test the shield wing. I agree. Well, that's cool. Well, okay. Guess I can leap off just about any cliff now. Whoop! That's not what I wanted. Get up. I love this. I love this. Campfire? Salvagers I met in Baron Light. Looks like something's going on. I'll save the extra stock for later. Okay. So, is there any quests here? You really think you can do that? Karoof, come on. You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? I don't think that's a quest. It doesn't really look like a quest. Let me talk to the, let me talk to this guy just just in case. Hey, that's the guy that was the savior of Meridian and of my very own operation. Laren, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Oh, nasty business. What the Tanakh did back at the embassy. But everyone in Baron Light is thankful you drove them off. So this is your salvage operation. You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again? I'd say I'm interested. I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> And that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. <laughs> the best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. I mean, I wouldn't now, really say I'm a hunter, though. Me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. <laughs> what are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. If their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage, it'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. Good to know. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. Counting on you, Aloy. So, salvage contract. So this is not really a side quest. Kind of, but not really. So I think I'm going to avoid that right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus on, on these. So let me see the map. So that's the salvage contract. This one's what? The bristlebacks. That one I think would be more imperative for me to do. Seen as I want to read that contract before going on the hunt. I'm not doing that yet. I got tons of those berries, by the way, in my in in my uh stash that I should probably check out at some point. Some kind of outpost with pens. I need to find a way to get in there. I, I already did. To see what I'm up against. I'm machines in my focus to keep what track. What was that? Better check it out. Uh oh.
Are these guys are these guys actually bad? Ah, that old tree finally decided to fall. Yeah, these are rebels. I have to wait till he leaves. I am going to destroy this guy. Okay. I'm in. I have to clear out this place before I can look around. Doesn't look too difficult to be honest. Kill the rebels and their machines. <laughs> too easy. If they ever decide to come this way again. You gonna come or what? Damn, he's like way gone and I don't want to attack that dude over there because then I'm gonna be fighting the entire tribe. Didn't I just see a box over here? There it is. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There he is, he's coming. No, he's not. Yes, he is. I think he's confused. This music sounds insanely intense. Oh, I'm gonna get you, bro. I'm gonna get you. Can I not? Come on. One down. Nice try, little horsey. That's exactly what I didn't want. I got you. Oh. Oh. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. One damn bit. Nice. What are you gonna do, buddy? That was perfect. That hurt. Nice try. Oh, what? That was rude. You know what? I'm not running away over there. I'm just gonna shoot him. Where did that blaze go? Pens, not that many machines. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. I will. After I'm done looting. I don't think I looted the guys that are over here. So... Give me your money. Money, money, money. I love me some money. I should might as well take this charger horn. Was that another one? 
No, that was Blaze. Just as good. <clears throat> Here's a Blaze right here. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Dude, there's so much good stuff here. Hmm. What cave was she talking about? It's gotta be over here, right? I wish there was more medicinal supplies. Do I have to jump down there? I'll be taking that. Oh, this just leads back out. Yeah, that just leads back out. Oh, this is a way to sneak in. Hey, it's actually a good thing I came this way because I am now able to top off on my medicine berries. Okay, there's gotta be a way. Oh, there we go. Might be my way across. You don't say, Aloy. Obvious statement of the day. How to drop the other side. Gotta get closer. Try again. Setting the bridge with my focus might show me something. Looks like there are a couple of weak points. Little ropes attached to the bridge. Oh. I thought I was supposed to pull it. Might as well top off. There. Bridge is down. What is that? Not sure, but I'll take this. What am I getting myself into? I'm going in this stealthily. Which I'm still gonna get caught, so I don't know why I'm even bothering. Uh-oh. Can you be any more obvious, Aloy? into a tunnel it's dead too so the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here the machines fell into the tunnel which must have collapsed as they ran further in what if Alvin's explosives created the sinkhole I should head back to chain scrape to let Javad know so I gotta go backwards no that's barren light chain scrape is oh my god it's far Okay. Chain scrape it is. We're gonna try to do as many side quests as possible. This is gonna be a long let's play guys, so I hope you guys are prepared. Be taking that thank you very much even though I'm officially full can I call my mount you know what I think I could fast travel to chain scrape right uh okay I'll activate that as my main or can I just travel only to Campfires. You are falling. Oh. I guess I was. Let's try that again. Okay, I could fast travel there. Okay, so it costs one. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because on the way back on that side, I'm just going to get another horse. <clears throat>
back at Chain Scrape. It really made me go way back, didn't it? Talk to the pin, the pit master. This is the first time talking to him too. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Dame's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? <laughs> the Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My okay. guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to work. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. I guess. I guess I have to. Do I have? Do I have to? I don't really want to. Yeah, I don't really want to. Do I have the wrong? Okay, so that's that one. Uh, there we go. This one, bristlebacks. I had activated the wrong quest. That's the problem. But it was a chain scrape, so it should be here nonetheless. Where's the entrance again? This this entrance is in a weird spot. Was that the entrance? Perfect. Hello, long time no see. So you've returned from the <coughs> west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun. And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Alvin here. Petra, too. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Is he fired? <laughs> Summoned like a blast of a winch. You best be meaning to put pen to part. I do. Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh the rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole oh. only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused. 
all of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? Yes. I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> Lies. Uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ovent. All for a few extra shards. <laughs> Greedy as ever, somebody you said. almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. <laughs> That's also true. Uh, I, I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that, that's <laughs> not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh. A little late well, for that, that buddy. Save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After Don't all, do it. The welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this. No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out. <laughs> Don't want you. Goodbye. <laughs> That's satisfying. Get off me. Mud looks good on you, Alvin. <sighs> As the sun burns away, shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here. Please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. Yay, and what did I get? We have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. Good for you. I'm so glad Olvin got relieved of his duty. He was a garbage person. Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. Agreed. So there is. Wait, wasn't there a. Oh, it's right here. So I should be able to fast travel from here, right? Yeah, fast travel for free. So let me see. Okay, so that's where I was at. And there's chargers right here. So I should be able to wait. What's this? Find Rebel Camp. Have I not been there before? Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Let me click on this. And then fast travel here. Yes. So the... I thought I was already there. Why is it telling me to go back? I don't know. Let's go find out. Because I do want to try to do every... Well, the main quest, obviously. But I want to do all the side quests, if possible. 300 meters, that is far. I love this so much. This is so cool. It was like perfect too. Just by gliding, I got already like one third of the way there. I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. Nah, I'm not doing those. Just mainly focusing on side quests. Granted, it would give me a an apparent good piece of armor. Wait, hold on. What is the flag? Find the rebel camp north of Baron Light. Really? Do I really have to knock this over again? I'm not sure how it grew back since the last time we were here, but... Everyone should still be dead, hopefully. Yeah, I don't see nobody. What is it that I'm missing, though?
Also, how do I get there? Let me look at the quests. Because this should tell me. So, Death Store. Side quest. Go to the Eclipse Hideout. Let me see this on the map. Convoy. Let's let's see what quest this is. Oh, this is the contract. Now, yeah, let's let's activate this quest. We're gonna go do this quest. Let's go ahead and get out of here. There's nothing here for us. Where, where was that charger site? Because it is pretty far. So I'm going to go here and get me a mount. Because the mounts really help. They're a lot faster than I can run. That's for sure. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, I got a purple fox bone. I'll gladly take that. Did I just see another one? Okay. I didn't get another fox bone, but I got a fox hide. Those purple ones usually are for, well, they're almost always for crafting or for trading. At least if the previous game is anything to go off of. Which it seems very similar to the old game, which is a good thing, but it kind of feels just more of the same if I'm being completely honest Couple new additions like the glider. That's pretty cool. The gameplay feels smoother even though right now I'm getting some Lagging, but I think that's on my recording software I really hope it doesn't translate that in the video because if it does that's the game and that's not good. Oh I'm here Don't see me. Are these friendly? Ooh, there. there we go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. We got business to take care of. Hold on, there's a... Uh... They're trying to pull those off. Don't and fight me. Where where are they? There we go. Is that it? Ah, I always forget how to jump off. There we go. Let's quick save this. I hope my mount stays. Okay, good. Also, I might as well go back to full health. I can always loot. Yeah, I can always loot from mounted positions anyways. Are these... No, these are nothing, huh? World ruin. Wonder what's inside. Nothing, probably. No Man's Land, Relic Ruin. Oh my god, this looks freaking gorgeous. Wow. Desolate dilapidated a sense of despair I love it oh wait it's right here stay there poochie I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save at all of these because I'm honestly not sure if just walking by it allows me to use it you know ooh 
Thank you, thank you. Definitely needed that. How far are we? Kind of far. Not really, but... Let me through. Oh my god, dude. The mount... The mount... As cool as it is... <laughs> I did not expect that. As cool as the mount is... And as fast as it lets me be... I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. I don't think I will. Ooh. Place to rest. Wait, wait, wait. Is that Karja Camp? Unknown Rebel Outpost? I'm curious about this Karja camp. How do I get there? Oh, it's up there. I see it. You can craft, upgrade, save your game, and change the time of day. Oh, it's just a saving point. Okay. I mean, I'll save it, but... Can I craft anything even? Weapon upgrades. Um. No, I need a bur a burrower sound shell to be able to upgrade my bow. Whoops. I could do this. Question is, can I go further than this? Bristleback Tusk. I could have sworn I had a few of them. But I guess not. Oh wait, I have a couple more weapons, don't I? Let's start here. Definitely upgrade that. Can I go further? Yes, I can. Moment of truth. Can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. So my shock trip caster is full. I should really start putting some things on them too, huh? Well, I need to upgrade this as much as I can too. Could I make this level three? Yes, I can. So I got two maxed out weapons. Let's uh see what we could do in the outfit department. No, I need burrow or sound shell. I need a few of them actually. Oh, the Nora Anointed. I do like that one a lot though. Nora Champion. How did I get this? I kind of infiltrator. Increases resistances, increases resistances, and unlocks weave. Oh, that's because this is upgraded. There's no reason why I can't, why I shouldn't. Okay, let me see how far I can upgrade this. <clears throat> Just one. Hunter. How far upgraded is this? Um, I kind of want to put that on. Pouch upgrades. Uh, increases the amount of resources that can be carried. Not even a question. Spike holsters already proved to be good for me. Nice. We had three available upgrades and three available upgrades I got. This is my stash? Yeah, it is my stash. Do I need any of this? Whoops. 
Probably not, to be honest. Let me see. Resources. Metal bone. I should take this just in case I need it. Blast plate. A thick... I should take this too, just in case I need it. So I couldn't take them all. Wait, what? Is okay, whatever. Let's go. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay. That reminds me. I am going to... These look identical, just different colors. This is the only, only one that's radically different. I do like the anointed. And I do like the fact that it's fully maxed out. This one doesn't have any weaves available. This one has two weaves available. Let's just equip this. And then... Potentially... Uh, how do I, how do I do this? Edit weaves. There we go. Okay. Choose a weave. Slot locked. Oh, they're locked. Oh, it's this one. Select slot. So what do I have right now? Concentration increases the level of concentration. Passive. Okay. So this is the one that's, so this is concentration plus one. Acid defense, melee defense. I'll go with acid defense. Concentration. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so I still need a bunch of stuff. Okay, that's already full. Okay. We're golden. So we're not going to attack this base. Although I am a little bit curious to find out what it does. I'm more inter interested. Convoy ambush. Unknown settlement. Karja camp. So what is this? This is the, uh, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's just continue with the story. So far, it's pretty on point. If I'm being completely honest. Looks like the coordinate silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? Can this thing swim? Okay. Sorry, buddy, but I guess this is where we call it quits. To the coordinates recovered from the spire. I don't think I need to submerge. But we should be a little bit prepared just in case. There is a... A burn pit right here so chances are this is peaceful it kind of looks like it got attacked actually the campfire that's what location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire the workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan just the kind of place silence would slink away to but what was he doing here oil barrel that device is blinking I guess silence wants me to check it out 
What does that do? Examine the device. Small supply crate. It's some kind of log. Most. Whoops. If it's redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Okay, let's let's see what this is. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> He's got it all figured out. Bastard. I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Yeah. He's an idiot too. Not gonna lie. Why can't... Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. You can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand, well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable until interrogations begin anyway. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. Just in case. So there's that over here. What is this? Interrogation log. So I guess I look at it from inside my book. For now, let's continue on. I don't think there's anything I can do about this now. Uh, well, I better see where this trail leads. I want to know what that is, though. It's around here somewhere. It's like taking me way out of the way, isn't it? Where is this taking me? Why is it only 10 and not 12? It's gonna force me to submerge, isn't it? Oh. Oh, it's making me- it's going- taking me to the question mark. Should I do this though? Well, let's go up for now. Once we get there. My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. Alright, whatever it is, is pretty much below us. So let's go. Can I even make it without dying? Let's go up for now. I want to be directly above it. As much as possible. And go. Come on, Aloy, swim. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I am so dead, and I'm stuck.
I cannot believe I survived that. I'm not going back there. Nope. Maybe later I'll find some water breathing thing, but... Not important. Dude, this water looks gorgeous at night, by the way. I'm going back on the main mission. Because there's no way I'm going to drown. I can always come back at a later point anyways. It's really not that serious. This is clean. I'm gonna get out here. Okay. Back on the track I go. Oh, you know what? It probably went back down to 10 instead of 12 because I changed my outfit. That's probably what it is. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. The crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. To be fair, you're very similar. How do I sneak past them? Should I attack? Baby, let's go. Did I just hear another one? I crap, I did. Oh, come on, I juke that. Nice try. So he's down. Wasn't there another one? Oh, he's right here. Where are you? Oh. Focus. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Plasma cell. Is that what I needed? Wait, no ammo? Oh. Okay, so it's not what I needed. It's okay, though. Wait, is that another part? Because if it's another part, I'll want it. Scrapper radar. I like how it shows you where it's at by basically... Ooh, Glithog Beak. I wonder what I could craft with that. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. That should be everything because I don't see any more electrical pulses anymore. Can I loot this? Yes, I can. Eh, 
better than nothing, I guess. Those acid arrows could come in handy. I'm pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Maybe that it is Gaia. I don't know. I'm kind of taking a shot at the dark at this point. Ooh, let's not fight these guys. Also, oh crap, I don't have any medical stuff. So yeah, let's definitely not fight. Let's pick that up and use it immediately, so at least I'm full health. Oh, thank God, some more. I'll be taking that. Well, and that. What are you talking about? I only have two Aloy. I need a lot more. Okay. I need to go slowly because I really need to find some of these medicinal berries. Uh oh. There's one right here. Get down. Those lights were built for leaving. And kicking, no doubt. Wait, hold on. Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. Yes, it does. I don't see any more medicinal berries, so that could be a prop. Wait, there's one right here. I'm about to say, are you gonna hit him or what? There we go, I got another fox bone. I don't know what I would use that for, but I'd rather be prepared. Just in case I do need it. I need to find five more berries, man. No berries. That's disappointing. Wait, what's this? Get, get out of my way. <sighs> okay. We're we're still good, I think. Moon. Okay. Let's see where this goes. But the silence used that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. From that door. Looks like Examine the Hades. Facility. Or a zero dawn. Is that Hades? Hades? Is that you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. You are the Aloy. Come to destroy me. Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So not yet secured Gaia backup. Then Gaia is dead. Earth and Hamlet. Despite malfunctions, I have won. Gaia backup? Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Been easy. 
What did silence do to you? What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? Memory broken. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Uh, where's Silence now? Do you know where Silence went? He is really broken. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Why did Silence leave you here? Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence intended you find me here. Obviously. Obviously. But <laughs> why? What was this place? Location is Yeah, we're not getting anywhere with this. He my grave. But you I guess I'll find out when I go inside. Uh other subordinate functions? When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on data error and memory structures disintegrating. Bunch of crazed AIs scattered who knows where doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? <laughs> yes. Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Uh, mysterious signal? Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Sigma. And who are they? Masters look me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? Who's that? Data error memory structures disintegrated. <sighs> yeah, we're not getting anywhere with these questions. <clears throat> You're the one who doomed. Who's doomed, not me. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deleted. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non-viable biospheres aborted in years two. Five four two one six one two one six eight. So that that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Stay name and rank. 
Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Purging extinction protocol. Well, that was kind of scary, though. Oh, hello, once again. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. How? Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing. But yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? <laughs> Look, first of all, machine writers. Don't know what this is, but sure, you machine writers. You've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy, hey, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Uh, Gaia backups? Just to confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia. In there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Guy and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? What about the mysterious signal? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? <laughs> In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a super-intelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... The details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Gaia is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. Okay, I'm ready to go in. All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence. 
and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy. God damn. Thanks to me, everything you desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I mean, he's not wrong. I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say thank you, and I say you're welcome. He does have a point, though. She's kind of an ass. But on her defense, so is he. Death's door. Examine the orb. Complete. Enter the facility. Ooh, let's go. 